So we've got to remember our component form. Now, or we got to remember our three ways to write a vector. The first one was component form. Actually, I'm not going to write these up. v1, comma v2. We know component form, the initial point is at 0, 0, and the ending point is at v1, v2, right? So that's component form. Can we, do we know what this terminal point is? Do we know what the terminal point is? So it's kind of hard to write this in component form, right? You'd agree with me. OK. The next form was linear combination. Basically, you're just writing them in terms of their unit vectors, i's and j's. But do we know how many i's, unit i's we go, and how many unit j's we go? No. If we knew the terminal point, that would be easy to do as well. Correct? So the third, por third portion that we learned was you could use it by multiplying by its magnitude times the general form of a unit vector, cosine theta, sine theta. Well, v represents magnitude. Do we know the magnitude of our vector? Yes. Theta is our angle. Do we know the angle of our vector? Yeah. So all you guys have to do for this is 18 times cosine of 25 degrees, comma, sine of 25 degrees. Then it said to simplify your answer. So um, just remember, guys, this is now a scalar. So it's really 18 times cosine of 25 degrees, comma, 18 times sine of 25 degrees. Mm -hmm. And since I didn't confirm or it doesn't say in the book, I'll just uh, round it to the nearest thousandth. And there you go. And that's it. Hmm?